good evening to you in this video I want to show you how to know when to get your tire replaced whether you need to get all four replaced or just two or just one all right so the very first thing I want to show you is the penny test and basically this test is to show you if you need to get one replaced without a tool or a mechanics advice so we call this the penny test it's very very common and you're going to tilt the penny on the Abraham Lincoln end and you will see how far it goes down onto the tread as you can see there it's not going past the eyeballs which is not good and of course you can test every single one of the threads that one gets a little bit better as we go further in from here uh, it almost goes to the eyeballs if you can see all right, so basically it means that I'm getting wear on the front, of course, from doing from turning and steering. If we go to a back tire, and by the way, that's why you should rotate your tires, is because the front two tires gets the most wear. If you could see the same Abraham Lincoln test, you're going to be able to see that the tire is in much better shape. On any of these treads look right here on the very end the Abraham Lincoln it's almost taken up its whole head here same with the the back or the one closer to the other ends so why is that why is my back tires the tread is not as bad well I've been driving with these two tires on the front now for two years and I haven't changed them so like I told you when you turn the steering wheel left and right, it, all the wear is going to be on the sides. So that's number one, you need to rotate your tires to rotate the back to the front so they get some of the wear and then the ones in the front will start wearing more into the center of the tire. All right, now if you think my front right passenger tire is bad, let's look at my driver's side. So that one, again, has been on here for three years and if we do the the penny test you're going to see that the f that the driver front is even worse than the passenger front and you're going to be asking well why is that well not only are you steering with the front two tires but the weight and usually you're not going to have a passenger in your vehicle but you're always going to have a driver and if you're a heavier guy like me the weight of the of the driver is going to put even more friction down on your tire so that's why it's recommended when you do rotate your tires to you know every whatever 10,000 miles or 15,000 miles that you put the front into the back passenger rear it's basically shaped like an X and with the X you're going to get even uh, better wear uniformly over the four tires now, of course, the next thing you want to visibly check out on your tires, if you see any little wires popping out um, that's basically going into the tread, that, that means that you need to replace it. Of course, if you see any anything bulging in your tire. And then just the age of your tire and where you drive at. So, for example, I live in Florida. So if you live in a, a real southern climate like Texas or Southern California, Louisiana, uh, the hotter the, the pavement is on the road, the tougher it is on your tires. So, you know, the asphalt, the warm, hot asphalt uh, will wear down your tires. And then, of course, age. You know, if a tire is over six years, it's probably a good time to get it replaced. So physically uh, looking at the tire and then how it drives, if, it, if it, there's uneven wear, there might be an alignment problem, but it could be a possibility that your tires do need to be replaced. And in my opinion, the number one tire in the planet, which I will never get another tire other than this brand, is Michelin. Michelin is the, the best tire on the planet, in my opinion. It's better than Firestone or any other tire that you can get. Yes, they're more expensive. They're usually like 100 bucks more. Could be a little bit more. And when I've gone to tire shops and asked for Michelin, they try to sell me on something else because I don't think they make as much profit with them. But they are dealers of Michelin, so they have to provide them if you ask for them. 
you're going to find that you, you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with Michelin. They'll last just twice as long as a lot of other tires, and it's worth that extra little bit of money. If you're going to keep your car for a few years, it's good to go with Michelin. All right, if you have any other techniques or uh, things to help tell if a tire is going bad, let me know in the comment section, and make sure you subscribe.